A stranger gate crashes the wedding of a couple, leaving everyone baffled. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. If you are a Friends fan, you will never be able to forget the episode where Ross and Emily decide to get married. But Ross makes a blunder when he utters Rachel's name instead of Emily's while making his vows. Linda and Mike from Johannesburg had a dreamlike love story which everybody would be jealous of, or so it seemed. The two finally decided to get married after being together for three years. But no story is perfect. Something happened in the love story of Linda and Mike that led to the running away of Linda from the aisle on the wedding day. Will she come back? And what had exactly happened? This is not the story of Ross and Rachel, it is a story of its own kind, and will leave you thinking, is that even possible? Linda and Mike met in 2016 at a common friend's birthday dinner. They both started talking and realized they had a lot in common. That is when the two started to get to know each other better and got along really well. Linda and Mike were so like each other that it seemed like they were made for each other. After spending three lovely years together, they both felt that the time had come for them to tie the knot and be each other's forever. The couple told their families about their decision of getting married and the preparations started right away. There was a lot to do in very little time. Linda was more than excited about the wedding. Linda was a very emotional person, and now that she was getting married, she wanted to attach a sentimental value to each thing related to the day of the wedding. This day meant more than anything to her. To have a sentimental value, Linda decided to borrow her mother's gown and make some changes in her mother's gown itself. She knew it would turn out to be the most beautiful gown, and she would look the best in it. The best part was that Linda and Mike worked together during each task that was to be completed as a part of the wedding preparations. Mike was everywhere Linda needed him, and they both did everything together. The couple in their story were like a fairy tale. There seemed to be no glitches in their story, yet everything was going to change on the day of their wedding. How could a story so perfect have any defects in it? On the eve before the big day, Linda and Mike decided to go on a dinner for the last time as bachelors. Mike had planned a beautiful surprise for Linda and made a special setup to execute the plan he made. When Linda arrived at the location that Mike had asked her to come to, she was surprised to see a beautiful setting under the moonlight, and her eyes started to find Mike, who was nowhere to be seen. When Linda looked closely, she saw Mike bend on his knees with a ring in his hand. He wanted to propose to Linda one final time, before officially being declared husband and wife. Who and what could destroy such a lovely couple? After a sleepless night full of jitters, the day had finally arrived for Linda and Mike. Both of them looked exceptionally happy and couldn't wait to be one. The venue was decorated beautifully and the guests started to arrive. The couple had been a lover of music and therefore they had invited the DJ producer Ngokoki he was not really a famous singer, but he was known for his work among people who valued music and was to perform at the wedding. Linda finally wore her mother's gown and she looked breathtakingly beautiful. Mike was indeed a lucky guy. With a smile on her face for marrying her favorite person in the world, Linda looked perfect. Before getting ready to walk down the aisle, Linda prayed that may everything go as planned. It was the day she had waited for all her life and she did not want it to get ruined. But her prayers won't be accepted and the worst will happen. Mike felt that Linda was meant for him and he had to be the luckiest guy to be marrying her. He was desperately waiting for Linda to walk down the aisle so that he could see how beautiful she looked in her wedding gown. Linda finally came hand in hand with her father and walked down the aisle. She looked like the happiest bride on earth. She took God's name one last time that may everything go well and then she looked at Mike. Mike looked at Linda and his heart skipped a beat. Her gown made her look even more beautiful and her smile really took his breath away. They were finally going to be together forever and couldn't wait for that to happen. Linda reached Mike and they both held each other's hands. The first word that Mike said was wow. 
Both of them smiled looking at each other and everyone saw how perfect they were for each other. But this perfection was soon going to end. Linda recited her vows first. As she was an emotional person, she wanted to be sure to add every little feeling of hers for Mike in her vows. She had prepared her speech with a lot of effort, and when everyone heard it, they were in tears. It was now time for Mike to recite his vows before they could finally be declared husband and wife by the vicar. Mike started with his speech, and he had written very sweet words, all in praise of Linda. When the couple was done reciting their vows, the vicar was about to declare them husband and wife, when suddenly the door of the church was pushed open and somebody entered inside. All heads turned toward the door when it was opened. Who could enter in such a hurry and so rudely at the wedding? Linda and Mike could not understand who was it, but Linda could see how it was affecting her perfectly planned day. A woman entered as if she had gate-crashed the wedding. She was no one that was invited, and Linda had not even seen the woman before. Everybody was confused about what was even happening, but this was just the starting. The woman who had just entered was not just a random woman who had entered the wedding by mistake. She had a purpose of coming to Mike and Linda's wedding. She had come wearing a wedding dress. Linda couldn't bear the sight of this woman. How could she come to someone's wedding like that and wearing a wedding gown? Moreover, her gown seemed to be newly purchased and was indeed a very beautiful gown. Linda and Mike could hear people whispering as to who the woman was. Nobody had seen her before, and the ceremony had stopped in between because she had entered. The woman, on the other hand, just kept walking towards the couple, smiling wickedly. The woman went up to Linda and Mike, and she revealed the truth to everyone. The person to be hated was not her, it should be Mike. Yes, this woman was Mike's mistress. She told everyone that Mike and she had been together for more than a year. The woman told all the guests who were gathered for the wedding of Linda and Mike that Mike had been betraying her as well as Linda by not revealing the truth to her. He had kept a relation with this woman. Maybe this was the woman's final attempt to win Mike back, or maybe she wanted to take her revenge for being betrayed so ruthlessly. Why would Mike do such a thing and destroy two lives altogether? Everyone was taken aback when they heard the woman's story. There was not even a single person in the gathering who could doubt Mike. He seemed to be the perfect guy, but he had cheated this woman as much as he had cheated Linda. When all of this havoc was going on, all eyes were on the woman. As soon as she stopped speaking for people to evaluate how much harm had been done by Mike, everybody wanted to know if Linda was fine. Linda was not standing there. Where did she go? Was she even fine? And when heads turned around to find her, people saw her walking away silently. Where was she going? Mike knew he needed to do something. Mike tried convincing Linda that the woman who had claimed to be his mistress was lying, and he did not know her. He kept repeating that he had never seen her, and he was true to Linda all the time. It had been too late. Linda had decided and made up her mind that she could not marry a man whom she could not trust. Trust is the most important and basic thing which is required to make a relationship work. No matter how much Mike begged, Linda had decided to keep her head held high and walk away. She did not fight, she did not argue, she just went away. She knew she had made the best decision for herself, and she had no doubts about it. Because Linda was a very emotional person, she was too much invested in this relationship. She knew it was going to be very difficult to come with terms to what had happened, but she would be strong and fight it all back. Every little detail of this incident, from the argument between the woman and Mike to the walking away of Linda, had been recorded by someone, and that someone was none other than Nokoki. Nokoki was yet to perform, but that never happened after what took place. Instead, he recorded everything and decided to post it on his Twitter account. As soon as he posted it, he started to gain likes on the post. In no time, the video had garnered 668,000 views and 7,000 retweets. Everybody who saw the video was against Mike. When you are not faithful to your partner, well, this is one of the dramas you should be ready to face," one person wrote. Mike was wrong, and everyone who knew the video could judge that. I hope every man that cheats gets a side chick like this," one person commented. Another commented the following, I'd do the same thing. 
You ain't gonna waste my time like that.